Government's mass housing development program was introduced with the aim to reduce the country's housing backlog, especially amongst low and ultra low income earning groups. Providing decent and affordable shelter to Namibian citizens has become a government priority, as not many citizens are able to afford houses. Speaking at the handing over ceremony at Kori House, Urban and Rural Development Minister Sophia Shaniwa said the categories of houses that are earmarked for the ultra low and low income groups must be sold at prices that are lower than the actual cost of construction. With the approved discount selling prices, a person who earns a salary of 2700 per month will now be able to afford a core five house some of those houses standing there, which is being offered for sale at a reduced price of only 90000 In order to ensure that no one is unfairly disadvantaged because of a residence's location, Cabinet has resolved that all social houses will be priced the same across the country. Out of the 47 social houses built at Corihas, 11 were handed over while at Otavi, five out of the 26 houses built were handed over. The rest will be delivered pending electricity and water connections. Beneficiaries were excited to be new homeowners. It's been all the years that I wanted my house to call my own, but today I get my house, my own. I'm, I'm very much happy. I'm, I'm happy. I don't even have words to, 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 to say and how to thank uh, the NHE and then uh, the Korea Town Council as well as uh, Minister of Urban and uh, Rural Development. Really, I'm happy. Government has committed itself to ensure that at least 5,000 new houses and 6,500 new residential plots are provided every year. Hence, a call to all local authorities countrywide to ensure the next phase of the program reaches all. Salomo Tenga, NBC News, Ochoarongo.